The Honourable Tau Henry. Thank you, uh, Mr uh, Just Chair. before the member speaks, yeah. I, I, I meant to just draw the House's attention to a matter that occurred while Nick Smith was speaking, and I, I didn't want to interrupt him. But standing orders and speakers' ruling, speakers rulings are quite clear on visual aids, and during uh, a member of the government speaking, uh, visual aids were displayed from the other side. They are to be displayed only when members are speaking on that side, and, and we won't have a repeat of that. Uh, Honourable Tau Th Thank you, Mr Speaker, for that assistance. Mr Speaker, uh, I'm, I'm, in this debate I'm reminded of the old communist days when, when, when the, the Iron Curtain was shut down on most of Europe, sir, and a few other nations that most of them have visited in their prime, sir. But I tell you what, the, the most interesting thing, sir, the interesting thing, sir, is, is this. That the blacklist, the boycott, that was promulgated by the unions, CTU, sorry, SCAB, SCAB, sorry, oh, no, no, no. The boycott that was promulgated by none other than the Australian unions in, 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 I suppose, partnership with Helen Kelly. And what it destroyed, what that destroyed is, is a word, is a word that uh, they love to get on their hind legs about. It's trust. The boycott, the boycott ruined the industry trust. And what, and what Jerry Brownlee, John Key, Nick Smith, and the rest of the crew from New Zealand are trying to do is actually work that trust up again because it has been so damaged, so damaged, sir. And so what was needed was a bit of clarity, a bit of clear thinking, sir, about who's an employee and who's an independent contractor. Now, to the poor old fella from, from Ōtara, from South Auckland, Explaining it to me would be something like this. To, if you, if you sign on as an independent contractor, then that's what you are. And if, you're in a, if you sign on as an employee, as simple as that. that's what you are. And that's all that this bill does. After four court appearances, I still couldn't get it right after the first one, the second one, the third one, and there was no clarity. And I'm not, I'm not picking which was right or which was wrong. But the fact of the matter is, is now there is clarity. Now, now there is the employee, he has his rights, and the independent contractor, sir, has his rights. And, sir, I just want to let the House know something else about my, my colourful career, sir. Sir, in 1980s, early 1980s, cast your mind back, if you will, sir, that I can proudly say that I acted alongside Jodie Foster and John Voigt as, a, as an extra in a movie that was filmed in Auckland, sir. It was called... It was, it was a huge hit. It was a huge hit. Didn't come out on video for a while, but it was called Mesmerised. And, sir... And you're still sir, you're still and I tell you what, it was the easiest $280 I, I made in, in a long, long time, sir. $280 in the hand, and all I had to do was walk from point A to point B, sir. How many takes? One take. One take. All over in 10 minutes, sir. And I tell you what, sir, looking back on that, that uh, huge career move of mine, sir, was I was glad. You know what I was glad at? At the end of the day, I could be paid. I could put milk in the fridge, butter and bread on the table for my flatmates, and boy, I was happy. And I tell you what, in this industry, this industry is worth $2.8 billion to this country, at least, at least, a conservative estimate, $2.8 billion, and the people that will uh, reap the rewards of what we do today, sir, are workers in this country, workers that that side over there 
said they always thought that they were they were there for. Well, if they were there for them, they'd be they would have supported this bill yesterday. Not taking this house well into Friday, well into the other constituent work that many members of Parliament have to do on a Friday and a Saturday as well too. Mr. Mr. Chair, I am a great supporter of industry and workers in this country. And this side of the House is known. Chair, 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 Chair. Honourable Tau Henry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. <coughs> it won't, I won't be long, sir. I won't be long. I won't take the full, full uh, five minutes. Hand out a pocket when you're talking. No, 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 no. Oh. I've got a pocket, and all I've got in it, sir, all I've got in it, sir, is a couple of lotto tickets. A couple of lotto tickets, sir. I tell you what, if we hadn't have done what we're doing today, sir, this would have been the only thing the workers, the workers that they say they support, could rely on. But now, sir, lotto ticket, but now, sir, they, well, now what they've got is some clarity and they've got a clear distinction of what an employee is and an independent contractor. And like I said earlier, sir, make the choice, sir, make the choice. And uh, well, why is it, sir, that the Labour Party feel it necessary to tell workers what to do? Why is it necessary for them to always get up and say the workers deserve this, that and the other thing? The workers believe this, that and the other thing. Well, I tell you what, why is it that thousands of workers, thousands of workers in this industry marched up and down this nation on Labor Day? On Labor Day. They, they took Labor Day. It was supposed to be a day in thanks for the, for the, for the eight-hour day. They wanted work. They wanted work. And they weren't going to be allowed to work if this had a kept on. If this film, if Warner Brothers hadn't have been allowed in this country, which is what that side wanted in the end, then there would have been no work. No work for the many. No work for the many people out there. And it's not just actors, sir. With one actor, there are hundreds more people employed in the industry. Depends on, depends on the film. Hundreds and hundreds. The bigger the film, the more people involved. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, but you know what I'm talking about. I do. Thousands and thousands of... Oh, no. Thousands and thousands of people uh, 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 rely, rely on the work that came from not only uh, the big picture, uh, big, big films, but the small films as well, too. And what the Labor, Labor Party wanted was to take away that right. And all we're doing, all we are doing, is just making it clear for those people. We're not making it... It's, it's, a, it's pretty apparent that we're not making it clear for, for the Labor Party, because they still don't understand. And, and, and Trevor Mallard... He, he's, he's the one, he's the lead speaker on that side. He's, he's the spokesperson on Labour. Took 10 minutes, a 10 minute speech, two calls, two calls, and seven and a half minutes was just personal abuse. Personal abuse. Personal, no, no, no mention of the definition of employee. No mention of the, the definition of an independent contractor. Oh, no, don't worry about that. The fact of the matter is that if you sign on as an employee, that's what you are. And if you sign on as an independent contractor, that's what you are. You start, you finish, end of story. What's so terrible about that? Who knows? That's why we're here. We're making sure it's clear. We're making sure it's clear for the industry, the worker, and everybody else. Well spoken. Well spoken.